Hello everyone and welcome back to this new Unity 5 tutorial. I'm Rico De Fuchs and in this video I'm going to show you how to return values from coroutines in Unity. But first we have to understand that a Unity coroutine is a C-sharp generator. Every time you call uh, the yield instruction in a generator, you are returning uh, a value. That's what they are intended to do in fact, to generate values. The problem isn't about uh, returning values from a coroutine because you are already doing that. But the problem is getting access to those values that the Unity engine absorbs. You can do it, uh, but you have to run your, the generator yourself uh, instead of letting Unity do it. And you have to expose the yield value, uh, the yield value, sorry, using a public property. Uh, that's what I've done with this coroutine with data class, actually. So we just take this class and make an instance of it, and you can, and you'll be able to use coroutines that return data. Here there is an example that I made. It's a pretty simple example. We just have one coroutine which says show result. This coroutine uh, creates a new instance of this coroutine with data object, uh, which we call this other coroutine, which will simply return uh, a random number between negative uh, 100 and positive 100, and we, it will just show us the result. So, as you can see, the usage is pretty pretty simple. You just instantiate a new object, uh, tell to that object to whiz the, 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 the sender, so which script is actually calling the, the coroutine with data, which is this actually, and tell which, which coroutine uh, should be used to generate that data. Then you just yield that coroutine, okay, which is stored in the coroutine with data, and then you, you can show the result itself. Okay, so I'll let me show you how this works in real life. So let me bring Unity. Here we go. I just attach the example script to the main camera here and press play. And you see that after a second in the console, I see a number. I do that again. Here we go. So the usage is very, very simple. Um, what I'm going to do now is just loop this until the, the world's end, actually. <laughs> so I just make a, an infinite loop here. So for here. So every second, you'll see what happens. Actually. So here we go. And every second, I'll generate a new number here. Here we go. Okay. And that's all guys, so it's pretty pretty simple, uh, in the description you can find the link to this uh, uh, coroutine with data script, which can be very useful, you can read it if you want to understand how to build your own uh, coroutine generator, C sharp generator, uh, and that's all. So I hope you guys like this, I hope you'll be able to use coroutines with data in your games in order to return values and assets and everything else you can return from coroutines. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.